the Kamchasha, they're, yeah, they're over here. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. They they did get strategically redeployed, but they are um, they they were done their job, as it turns out. Woo! All right, go go go. That's done there. You've got the command to run there, grabbing these victory points. Go and grab Bokara as quickly as possible. Study submarine warfare. Um, you know what? Let's get the boost for that. We're starting to build transport planes. How much more progress do you have? Uh, oh, you mean like war uh, contribution? Apparently with 53%. I was going to say, we're probably getting a lot of occupation score, and that isn't the case because we're occupying tons of territory. Tons. By the way, territory is is weighed. It's not measured. In, it's not measured in area. It's it's measured by weight. Okay, you. I'm gonna just gonna turn around and do this because otherwise it's gonna confuse some divisions. Um, okay, that looks pretty good to me. We got some more military factories. Um, let's bring this up a little. Oh, yes, you're right. Territory is measured by font. My bad. It's the weight of the font. Font is actually, uh, does have a weight. That's what, like, boldness and things and stuff is. Um. Let me do that. Does it say no division? Oh. I probably failed to delete. Yes. Oh, I selected you and I drew this, but I never actually assigned you over here. You're still assigned to the old front line. That's what's going on. That's why this is here, although it's amazing that they're not pushing. Australasian Union. Government of Australasian Union has approached us regarding possibility of a new bilateral trade agreement between our countries. In return for dropping the tariffs in place currently restricting imports, they promised to do the same for Chinese goods. Gives political power to make friends with the Australasian Union. Sure. Mm. Oh, and that gives me enough to change my volunteer laws. It's a it's a strange, strange time in China. We're actually gonna implement conscription. Because two million men left over is not enough. It's only costing us a hundred. Interesting. Hmm. All right. So our manpower pool will increase day by day here. Um, ooh. I'm trying to bust out. There's reinforcements coming. It's going to be fine. But we did get stopped over here, which is a little annoying. Um, my golden army. Thank you, autosave. I, I, I feel like I should move my... Um, my save game location for this to an SSD so the auto saves go faster. There you go. I want to do this. And then, got to make sure I grab the right one. This one over here. For gold division. Um, your front line is... Hold on. I'm just going to redraw gold division's front line. Because something kind of whacked out here. Your front is going to be fairly concentrated. And shift X... Okay, no. That... Okay, no. All right, you got that. Slightly confused, but sure, fine. Uh, and yeah, we lost that. I'm actually gonna get the motorized to come back around here one more time, real quick, and do this. Any other changes? Right, no. You've got that. You're currently capped out, which is okay. Yeah, nothing else. We're gonna do there. Can you change your work on me? Um, we're on work on me right now, though. So that's that's the sweet spot. That's where we want to be. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, if you guys are grabbing this... Actually, let me... Uh, this truck, actually. I'm going to get you to change your mind. Do this instead. Because that'll also cut off some people. And you're having a hard time doing that attack. Yeah, we could um, we could go and produce tanks to like spend our uh, land experience, but we don't really have access to anything. That's fine. Is that just just the one? Oh, okay. Go there. Idea: Have a new unit, make them go northeast and go west. Um. 
I mean, we have some guys here. We can't go through here. This is impassable terrain, it, it feels like. We do have some units there, Should theoretically, coming this way. I'm going to get you guys to halt so that you're not doing a strategic redeploy, so you can start regaining your stuff. Um, and we can go and hit these buttons once again. And there you go. Aggressive front, uh, as expected. Um, actually, I'm kind of okay with the fast-moving vehicle doing a little something like that. We might be able to get quite a bit of cut off and surround doing something like this. You're going to do that. You guys are going to keep moving forward. Which is fine. I'm going to get one of you, though, to do this. Just to shake up this front line a little bit. And we can see if we can get to Fort Alexander here. And then take everything else. Rush B. No way. A. Mm -hmm. Tanks aren't real. Yeah, we have no tank stuff at all. Um, and, I mean, the speed of tanks could be appreciated. Like... On this particular campaign, we would like light tanks. I think going forward, I think um, we may do the heavy tank added to an infantry division thing. Because with our ludicrous manpower, I think we're always going to be um, having way more infantry than anything else. Just as a result of production. We do have a good amount of industrial production right now. But we're, we're there's no way we're going to be able to build enough tanks for all of our manpower. Okay, if you go there, you can get a cutoff a little sooner. Split you off and do that. Split you off and tell you to go... Yeah. Something like this. Shake things up. Uh, if you're going to fight Germany anytime, you need some tanks. <laughs> At least we need some anti-tank. That's for sure. Not really. Okay. Never mind then. Although, there you go. These guys... There's no ports over here. So all these guys are completely cut off and surrounded. Well, as I'll, I'll keep building lots of anti-tank right now. We'll pull back from that almost certainly. So when we sort of like resolve the Russian war, we're going to do a new sort of land doctrine change. There was already a pretty big one for this Russian war. See, who did this and then didn't finish the job? Just rude. It's like when you find, like, I don't know, a can of soda around the house that's, like, half drunk. And you're like, who who opened this and didn't finish it? I mean, come on. The an answer is usually me. <laughs> I'm usually the one who did it, but, you know. I can still be mad about it. Save Mashriki. Check the deaths in the war. Okay, we'll take another look. So we have lost 600,000. They've lost close to 2 million. Specifically, uh, 700, eight, uh, nearly 800 now because it's climbing against us. So Netherlands joined the Reichspakt. All right, so all the low countries, because Belgium started in it basically, are in the Reichspakt. Let's do something like this. Clean this up. Keep pushing around here. Signal company is done. Okay, we really we need really need the higher tiers of all these two. But you know what? It, I think we're going to go down the heavy tank route. And let's get started on that now. Although, hold on. Oh, yeah. See, one of the things I normally do to dump my army experience at this point would be rush doctrines. But we've got them finished. What faction am I part of? I am part of the best faction. No faction. No faction is best faction. Just like no CB is best CB. Here. It's a too big right click over here. That'll be fine. Um, I'm going to add some infantry divisions to gold group again. And I'll, I'll probably leave them as is. Oh, they do have a little supply from this. Although, uh, if we can get one of these guys to come here, we can cut off anyone who's over here. will be cut off from the local supply from that. Mechanized equipment 2. And it's 44. We're going to go to mechanized equipment 3. Um, I don't think you can do variants of these. No, no. But we'll start on the 2. That's going to be fine. And yeah, mechanizing our army, and then at some point building some tanks is going to be gorgeous. <laughs> Can we create a Twitch faction? So you can't create faction in um, in Kaiserreich. Factions are all created, created and joined by national focuses and events and stuff like that. Do do do. I feel like I'm going to do another, like, big right-click here. And... Yeah, 
you guys up here. Try to beeline to uh, Katarina Town. And you can do something kind of like that. We'll just force it. Because of low supplies and things. Even if it was unaggressive, which it's not admittedly right now. They would still be fairly cautious about moving forward. Um, okay, yeah. We're going to finish all the tech stuff. Oh, you know what? Let's finish some of the political stuff. National Mausoleum. War support, stability, political power. Sounds great. Our stability... Um, actually, our stability is okay-ish. It's our popularity that's not as good. Wait, negative? We're actually losing per day right now? Occupations. Ooh. We are occupying a lot of territory. We need this war to end. You guys are still... Yeah, they're still pretty eager for the fight, which makes sense. That while we have captured some towns and some victory points here, Russia has a lot of it, and most of their most valuable ones are going to be in the West. And if we click on them and then check their political situation... Um, there we go, this way. You can see who they're at war with. They're completely surrounded by people they're at war with, and yet they seem to be doing kind of okay. Guys, whenever we go to war with the Ottoman Empire, you know what we have to do. We have to liberate a certain nation as a satellite. We're not allowed to annex them. We have to liberate them, or puppet them, or whatever the option uh, presented will be. Free Mashriki. Exactly. Um, actually, specifically, you're looking to do this. So we can pocket these guys. Nom, 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 nom. It's like, it's, it's, it's a little like a pizza pocket, but even more delicious. Oh, that's what I should use my Italy campaign. I should definitely mention a pizza pocket at some point when I surround people. Um, these guys are a little confused as to what they should be doing. I don't know, some, some guy gave them weird orders with a right click, and now they're kind of confused about their life. Looks like Russia's taking Sweden. Oh yeah, from the north, look at that. A little bit of a reach around through this uh, quite well and down peninsula going on. It's very thoughtful of them. Hey, full 24. So, I mean, gold army is not as mobile as it was, but that's okay. All right, so that's all done. We probably have to redraw some fronts here. Let me do that. I may have to make sure to manually rework some stuff, but I think our life will be vastly improved if we just do a big redraw here. All right, so primary, so army group one, what would your border? It would be the whole thing. Honestly, that's fine. Hey. Okay. Don't stop till Moscow. Go. Um, Army Group 2. I'm going to do the same thing. Just the whole front line. Boop. And the same sort of front line here. Boop. Do that. And then Army Group 3 slash Gold Army slash our Mobile Corps. Um, you're going to line up as a plan. Front lines get really wonky to draw when you've got your army group ones. There you go. Something like that. And you're going to very specifically... Where's Moscow? I lost it. There it is. Uh, halt. Shift X. Yeah. Halt. Oh, can you not draw a spearhead with um, an army group plan? Oh, ho, ho. I mean, I guess that makes sense. So, just with the army selected then. Something like that. Shift X, spearhead, and go. And then meanwhile, I, I have to make sure to manually, because these guys are all going to want to relocate to the front. Uh, yeah, they may change their commands, so I'm going to reissue some commands here. You're doing that. Your command there. You do that and that. And then there's not even anyone over here, so whether or not we take that territory doesn't really matter. Famous last words, don't stop the Mosca. I mean, you know, that's the sort of, like, brilliant strategic planning um, that meant that in, in the later parts of the war, when Hitler took, you know, direct control over a lot more of his armies, led to really brilliant maneuvers that really solidified uh, World War II for Germany. Or maybe he was a maniac that ignored uh, generals and fired anyone who, like, disagreed with his ludicrous plans. And, um, you know, lost it. Lost everything. Okay, so we encircled these guys, which is butchering my front line, but this will get cleaned up soon enough. Let's punch in there. Um, here, you guys go here. Yeah, and everyone's having to redeploy because of my line redraws. It's almost like I'm a terrible general. I'm doing that. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Replace the Russian bear with a panda bear. Two months till winter? That's fine. 
Honestly, it's not gonna make things much worse. All right, we got some free civilian factories. Um, yeah, it does this sometimes where you can't scroll this list. It gets confused. It's like, it's a short enough list that it doesn't think you should scroll, but it remembered the old scrolling position, so it's still like, out of whack like this, which is fine. Um, I'm gonna build fuel silos, actually. Our fuel production has gotten halfway decent. The big thing, especially when we get a bunch of ships, um, if ever we get a strike force, we're going to be happy to have some extra fuel stored up. Did that reset the construction window? No, it's still all crazy. Don't forget Iran. Is Iran a bad guy? No. There's a tiny bit of land right here. Askabad. We'll do that. But Iran right now is not involved in the war. Um, they're actually fighting the Russians. Build all the dockyards. Honestly, I think there is going to be a giant swell of dockyard building. Um, because we need some level of fleet. You guys, come up this way, actually. Some level of fleet for taking, um, like, uh, Dutch East Indies and whatnot. Um, which would be pretty useful. Let's close this in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the only people currently we're fighting, uh, sorry, F5, wrong button, uh, is the Russian Republic, and we're pretty focused on them, and you're cleaning that up, which is going to be fine, um, I'm going to get you to, oh, do this, although, I was going to say, you're not going to have any org right now, but that's fine, and that, and you, one of you, is going to clean that up, lovely, little pocket over here, but there's no one in there still, it's going to annoy me, so I'm going to take one of you guys to do that, Bum, bum, bum. How's the exiled British Parliament doing? Uh, so you're asking about Canada? So the Commonwealth of Canada over here, with uh, Eddie VIII in charge. Um, I don't know. I mean, he's in a war against plenty of people. Um, yeah, so if I do this, if I have five again, and with the Commonwealth of Canada selected, we can see who they're fighting. Is it orange because... Oh, very bad opinion. Mm. But they're technically at war with Mexico. And France. And, of course, Great Britain. Well... Uh, German Empire declares war in Colombia. Okay. Let's say, I don't know if they're Great Britain right now. They're merely an acceptable Britain. France getting melted. Yep, no, they're losing more and more about Iberia. This side has been static. Social Republic of Italy, they're cleaning up the rest of Italy here. Switzerland involved? Oh yeah, Switzerland's on on this. All right. Oh, we're actually officially short on motorized now. Um, we are going to be flipping those over, but I guess for now... Here, I'll just do something like this. Oh my god, we have so many factories. What the hell? F it. More, more mechanized. I mean, we don't have the resources. We're critically short of steel. I could decide to import more. But you know what's better than importing more steel? Conquering more steel. So we're just going to do that. Um, you go there. You go there. Um, you backtrack and go there. I think one of these provinces wasn't being hit. I guess probably this one, because there's no battle. There you go. Clean that up real quick. Need more metal. I know, we need to be totally metal. Make Britain great again. Well, that was our last campaign. We played as Canada, ran the government in exile, and reclaim Britain. Are you guys not part of a battle line? Or is there just, um... Yeah, we become, yeah, undersupplied. So that's what's happening with these guys. Uh, let's add some infrastructure to the front of the queue. Yeah, a little more over here. Okay. Uh, oh, there's still one. Oh, there we go. Nice and cleaned up. And you're cleaning that up. And you're cleaning that up. Awesome. And to tank two is done. It is 44. We could grab this. Um, Amtrak's are, yeah, the amphibious tractors. Um, do you use these for naval invasions? Yeah, allows Marines to be landed on a beach under armor protection. Comes across poor fuel efficiency. Right, we don't have Marines yet. We're going to probably want that. Um, we've got the tanks going, which is good. I think what we need, like, we need our support companies to be upgraded. The, the, the big, su the support companies are so good. Actually, since we're so in the attack, I'm not sure that the engineering company is our priority. Normally it is, because the engineering company gives you so much bang for your buck.
There you go. Yeah, we so need more metal. Um, are you gonna take it all for yourself or have a nice Soviet puppet? Well, for, for Russia, we need to take it ourselves because, of course, the, the name of the game is to have the biggest name in the game. So we have to take it for ourselves. The only thing we're not gonna take for ourselves is the Kingdom of Mashriki. Although I don't think it'll be called the Kingdom of anymore. It'll probably be the Mashrikian Union or the Union of Mashriki or something like that because they're going to be left wingish. I'm gonna get you guys to attempt a little move over here. And some of you guys, with your poor supply, you know what can improve the supply? If we just take control over more of the state. Thanks. War participation last time we checked was huge. Still huge, 61%. Three quarters of a million dead Chinese to get this far, though. Although, you know, we're taking more of them with us than anything else. Um, at some point, we are going to need some garrison stuff, but I'm going to go... I guess I'll max out that group and then make a new army, add you to army group two. We have a commander. Hey, we still have plenty of commanders. It's kind of a surprise. Any promotions we can do? Yeah, and this is another thing where I sort of wish there was a list to quickly and easily find everyone who's promotable. We'll give you an infantry expert because apparently... Guys, spoiler alert, we're using a lot of infantry here as China. I know, this is very non-traditional. Uh, infantry expert. Done. Very unusual to be infantry heavy as China, but we're going to do that. You know, it isn't alt history after all. And a lot of my generals got level ups fighting this war. Okay, so at this point, everything's cleaned up. That's great. Part of me is tempted to do just right click on uh, Moscow and see how far that gets us. One right click. Two right click. Three right clicks. Again, expert level strategic, sort of strategic level thinking. Right clicks? Ah. <laughs> okay. Adding some infrastructure there, although mostly we have to wait for some things to finish. A little more there. I'm control clicking, so it puts it at the front of the queue. And infrastructure does build very quickly. Uh, there are three still not clear. Oh, um, oh, yeah, you're right. Also, there's an actual infantry down here. Mm -hmm. Did Quill switch to Protoss or what? I don't know, man. Like, right click attack? That's like, to me, that's very Zergy. At least the way I play Zerg. 30 million Zerglings. Right click, go. Build the national. Oh, it's mausoleum. Yep. All right. Woo. With the capital established long past due to honor those who have fallen in service of Chinese democracy, a national mausoleum will be constructed outside of Wuhan. Is that where that, the coronavirus is from? Wuhan? Right? Um, how's the remains of Sun Yat-sen, Chiang Kai-shek, and other prominent revolutionaries who all died from a, a strange a variation of the flu? War support, stability, political power, woo! National culture movement is what we're going to do next. Chinese civilization can be seen as a continuous cultural tradition and entity thousands of years old. This is not yet really translated into a nationalism as strong or dynamic as that created and practiced by European powers. A civic nationalism greater than any warlord's cynical appeals 